Well, back here working on derby cars. This is the car I'm planning to take to Aurelia, which is the 88 Ford Escort. A lot of people ask me in person, on YouTube, over Facebook, how do I take out the windshields in my derby cars? Well, there's a right way and wrong way and a fast way and a slow way. The right way is the slow way, the wrong way is the fast way. I prefer the fast way. So what we have is just a normal sawzall with a very, very dull wood bit. You can have a sharp wood bit if you'd like. We have a ball peen hammer, exacto knife, and a pair of safety glasses. So I'm going to show you how I remove a windshield out of a car. So first things first is uh, safety glasses. Second thing is put a hole. Yeah, that looks like a hole. Stick the saws all through. Now I split the windshield right down the middle so it's easier to put in a scrap car. So let's go for this. Make sure it's all the way through. It out. Let's just throw that on the ground. Get the other half out. does have a chrome trim around it so I guess I do need one more tool which is a flathead screwdriver to remove the chrome trim. There. Now just grab our exacto knife and go around and remove the excess glass. So I just start anywhere. Now this is where you gotta be careful. I guess this would be good to have like welding gloves on or any of that fun stuff so you don't cut, sh cut, your, cut up your arms. Now I find once you get it started, give it a cut so that way you can lift it as you go. A little drag. up here now. That's giving me a little bit of drama. This is an older car, so the glue is actually really good. Cavalier, if this all would have been out by now. Wow, yeah, this is good glue. See how I'm pulling on it and cutting underneath it? 
There we go, that's what I want. You don't have to take a lot each time. All you have to do is gnaw away at it. The more and more you gnaw at it, the less and less there is. I'm not talking so much. It's just that when I'm doing the windshields and I talk a lot, the glass will fly up and actually go into my mouth. And then I got big chunks of glass in my mouth, which isn't very fun. So I try to keep my mouth shut while I'm using the sawzall. And even doing this, I try to keep my mouth shut. I'm not a lefty, so I kind of look like I'm special using that exact one right down there. going to break, break the blade, you get a new piece for it for this here, because it's kind of getting dull from all the glass. That's another thing. Glass doesn't like being cut, so it's going to dull any blades that you put into it. So don't be upset if you lose a couple blades to the glass, we should. Now this is usually how I do the back windows as well, except the back windows you just hit with a hammer and you go around. But this one here I was actually able to get out just by simply slowly applying pressure all the way around it. I guess it's an older car, so it's got an older style of sealing on the back window. With newer cars you can't do that too, so you physically have to cut them out. Okay, we're almost done here. There. Now, yeah, we're gonna have to go around and vacuum up, but I'm not even actually bleeding after that, which is pretty impressive, because usually I'm bleeding after everything I do. So there's the uh, two halves of the windshield. And as you can see, we've gone around the windshield completely and taken it all out. So we've removed this windshield in about nine minutes flat which is pretty good. And that's how you build, take a windshield out of a derby car in under 10 minutes.